Right guys, so obviously the first thing you need to do is measure This is where my gate's going So you measure from this edge to this edge There, there And there, there and What you do is take the smallest measurement And then you'll make your gate 15mm smaller Than the smallest measurement here uh, that way that gives you a gap by the side of the gate to give it clearance uh, when you open it Right guys, so the very first thing you do Once you've determined the, the width that you want your gate to be Is to cut three uh, ledgers, as you'll call these These are the pieces that go across the way So say our gate is going to be 900 millimeters wide for instance You'd cut these three pieces at 900 Right, now because I make these all the time, I've actually got a jig here But if you, obviously if you don't have one of these, um, what you would do is just lay your timbers on the, on the floor um, Just measure them out uh, for the correct spacings um, And then lay your slats on top and then screw them in place Okay, so you'll see I've just uh, laid these on here So these are now correctly spaced um, The way I like to do it is uh, from the bottom of the board here to here is 150mm and then I just match that at the top So the top of this board, once it's on, I'll give you a 150mm gap here And this one is pretty much centred Although I like to move this one slightly higher up Just so the handle's slightly higher up So the next thing now is to lay the slats on and What I normally do is lay one on that side One on this side Okay, so we've got the outer slats screwed in place now So this basically gives us the outline of the gate and the next thing you do is just add the slats in the centre and, and space them equally um, The fence that this gate is going on has roughly 20mm gaps in between the slats So I'll try my best to, to match that uh, with this gate Sometimes it doesn't work out, so sometimes you do have to cut you know, the boards just so you can get the gaps accurate So that gives you that uh, So basically these are the two outer that I've showed you Now we've just infilled these And sort of spaced them as best we can I've just stood the, the gate up just to So you can visualise uh, this a bit easier uh, So now we're going to do the, the bracing Which is probably the most important part of the gate um, I've actually got a quite a detailed video on You know all about bracing a gate I'll leave a link there So maybe it's an idea to watch that before you continue further with this process You know, an easy rule of thumb is Whatever side your gate is hinged on You put the brace at the opposite side And hinge it back towards the The hinges um, And this is called a compression brace So that makes it harder to compress the gate Which, you, you know, you'll see some people bracing them this way And you can still compress the gate and it sags Or some people don't even put a bracer on at all And it'll just sag over time Right, so we've got the gate back on the bench And uh, what you need to do now is get the same materials you've used for your ledges here So again, this is just a bit of fencing rail Cut it roughly to, to size and lay it across uh, the gate Whatever, you know, side you want But my hinges are going to be on that side, so obviously I'm bracing it from there But if your hinges were going to be on this side, you would brace it from that corner back towards your hinges Leave roughly about 10 millimetres there and the same at the bottom side And all that's for is so you can visualise when you put your straight edge Across here, to describe this You get the idea, so you, you can see that there but Once you get that totally lined up, you describe a line along there with a pencil We'll do the same up there So again, the centre for, for instance, you would line that up In relation to this, describe that line Do it the same here, describe that line and the same here, scribe that line And that will be able, that will enable us to, to cut those angles um, It's also an idea when doing it this way Is to mark this here So I'll do that just now So just get a pencil Mark either side of this And that will, once these are cut, that will allow us to line this up perfectly Right, so we've got the bracers cut, we've got the angles cut We've got these roughly in place um, So 
And basically, here's the lines that were scribed either side when we laid it on. So just sort of line these bracers up with that. Okay, so what I'll do now is <coughs> I'll lift this bracer out and I'll cover the ends in D4 wood glue. This is the glue that I use. So it's D4 wood adhesive. Smother the glue on. Don't be scared, the more glue the better. So on that end, then on the other end. Get this in position. And what we'll do now is drive a 70 millimeter screw up through here and the same down there. We just drive this in at an angle through the bracer and right in, right into here. So that's screwed right through there. Do the same here. That's that. And then we'll do the same process for this brace here. So that's these screwed in place. We'll just wipe off the excess glue now. It's important to get the glue off because it does actually stain. So the next process now is flip the gate back over and then we'll screw these slats to the bracer that we've just installed. So we'll do that now. Wherever the bracer hits these slats, screw the slats to the bracer. You know, all the way down. Right, so that's the gate done. Pretty much the construction all finished. Very simple, very straightforward. Probably the easiest type of gate you can make. Um, the only consideration now is uh, what side to put your hinges. So normally when I'm doing a fence, I'll have the gate opening in towards the garden. Uh, but on this occasion, uh, the, the customer wants the gate opening out the way. So because the gate has to move out the way, I need to put the hinges on the other side of the gate. Um, but if you did want your gate opening in the way, you'd put your, gate, your hinges on this side. Coming to fit the hinges, um, as I explained earlier, I want this gate to open out the way. So that's why I'm having to put the hinges on the, this side of the gate. The only thing to say about hinges really is if you see this little notch here, if you line that notch up with the edge of the gate, so if you can see that, see where that's lined up, make sure the hinge is central to the rail, which you can see under here. Get it roughly central. These lined up and then just screw in place. A lot of these hinges and stuff when you buy them don't come with screws. Uh, so what I always do, I always use galvanised screws, so I, I buy these in uh, specifically for my gates. Um, I mean, you could use normal yellow passivated screws, but over time you'll find that they rust and it just looks unsightly. Okay, so that's the hinges all fitted on, all screwed on. Right, so these are the handles that I use on 90% uh, of my gates. So I always stick with Gatemate uh, ring latch handles. They obviously come in black or galvanised. Um, in this case, obviously, I'll be using galvanised. Right, so in the pack, uh, you'll see there, this is the outer handle. This is usually the inner handle. Although in my case, it'll be the outer handle, as I'll show. Um, this is the, the keep for the handle. This is the latch the spindle, and uh, these come with galvanised screws. Right, because this gate is opening out the way, um, this is where you have to put this part of the handle you know, on the same side as the gate's opening. That's because you need a latch to fit onto the post there. So basically when you open the handle, the gate will pull forward. Um, obviously if you were doing hinges on the other side, you'd fit this part of the handle on the other side of the gate. But this is what I need on this occasion. So basically just centralise it. Um, you can see your rail through there, so just get it roughly centre. Have a good overhang there, probably I normally leave about 30mm overhang. So get the handle in position where you want it. Mark these four holes with a pencil. Take the handle away. And then what we'll do is just draw a line from there to there, there to there, and that gives you your centre point where to drill your hole. You know, made the lines there, that gives us a centre point. What I'll use now is a 20mm drill bit. Um, I like to use the auger bits, so they just go straight through, no problem. Get that in the centre, get your drill sort of even, and then we'll just drill right through. So 
So we've got the hole there and all that's for us to, to make room for the spindle to go through to catch the other side of the handle. So I've just tidied up that hole with a, a Stanley blade. Now what we do is put the handle and just match up these holes with where you marked before. Okay, so that's the handle screwed in place. Um, with the keep, just set it back slightly from the edge and have it set so your handle's basically running 90 degrees to, to the gate. So that's that, all screwed in place. So now what we need to do is flip, flip the gate over and then we can fit the other handle on the other side. Right, so we've got the gate flipped over, um, we've fitted the spindle through the hole, which then goes into the handle on the other side. Um, but what you'll find with these, these always need cut down. So if you put, so there's that handle on that side, you can see that gap there. So measure that gap, which looks to be about 15 millimetres or so. Take that off, take this out, and then cut roughly 15 to 20 millimetres off that, or whatever your gap was. Right, so I've cut the spindle to size, now that will get slotted. You can see down through that hole into the back of the other handle. So this will get slotted down into there. And then this handle will fit on top of the spindle. But because we've cut it, it should sit flush now. And what I'll normally do is move, move this back and forth until you feel it hitting the edge. Just find the center and then left and right the same. Find the center. That just gives you the maximum amount of play for the spindle. And it's as simple as just screwing this handle on. So that's the handle screwed in place now. You can see when you move that. So we'll just fit a, a Brenton security bolt. Um, so these are basically bolts. You can put across and then you can put a padlock through there if you want as well. Uh, so again, simple, just screw it in place. Right guys, that's a gate finished. Um, I just need to go and fit it now. Right guys, that's a gate fitted. So as we're saying, it'll open this way. That's the rear side of the gate. So hopefully you enjoyed that one guys, hopefully it helped you. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up as always and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See you later.